Hi, this is um, James Burke. Thanks for buying our product, the skimmer. Uh, this uh, is what you get in your package. You get basically the plate, you get three pieces of neo neoprene, and you get the hardware. And what we're going to do with this video is show you how to put, um, put the plate onto the kayak. We're going to do something a little bit different because this has a flat um, stern. We're going to exchange it with what we call the whale's tail. When you get this, just to let you know, you, this is cuttable with a saw, very easy to cut, and you would literally cut it right along here. But for this, like I said, we're going to do uh, a whale's tail. And that is what this is right here. With the three neoprenes, these are already installed, but do you see there's three of them on either the either plate. With this plate, we take two of them, literally peel the back off, and apply it to the plastic in an equal distance way, trying not to cover up the holes. With the hardware, you can see this kayak has access to underneath. So, we are equipped with three anchor bolts, which are stainless steel and used for those that don't have that access. So we don't need these, we're going to put them on the side, and we're going to today use the bolts and the washers. Today, like I said, we're going to be using the uh, bolts, the washers, and the wing nuts because we have that access to get under. So now that we have put our neoprene onto the plate, we're going to flip it over and we're going to line it up as close to the stern as possible. And what I have here for demonstration purposes is something that we represent with the shaft. We take off the lock pin, we put this shaft on it, and we line it up so that it's pretty perpendicular. And we know that's where we're going to screw our um, plate in. We're going to take three of the holes, these three holes here, and we're going to screw right into, right through the holes using a quarter inch bit and go right into the kayak. Now I'm only going to do one right now to show you how easy it is to put this on. We open up our access to the back. Push this in. Start the screwing. And then we're going to just take the washer and the wing nut place it over the uh, bolt as it goes through. tightens up with that wing nut, it will start to compress the um, 
the neoprene on the side, giving it a good solid fit. Now the neoprene is important because if you have any kind of a ridge in the middle, you can, you can bypass that with the two neoprenes. We do the same thing with the other two holes. This right, this in itself will hold it fine, but we're going to do two more holes. how simple it is just to get these in here. Now, you're probably saying, wow, this is so tilted. It's okay that it's tilted like this because with the weight of the kayak as it goes, it acts as a, um, a cushion as it pushes the kayak along. So it's okay that it's sticking up a little bit in the beginning. This neoprene will compress after a while and it'll actually uh, work to your advantage. And that's pretty much it. That's how we get the plate on. Put this back on and there is the plate installed. Hi, this is um, this video is to show you how we're going to inst uh, mount the skimmer onto our plate. Uh, you'll see that what you get in the box uh, is your motor, propeller, and your wire harness. What we're going to show you here is how to put the propeller on. Basically, it's a pretty easy system where you put the cotter pin in, line it up with the uh, with the slot and then put the top on there we go next now that we have that on we're going to take our shaft remove the lock pin Slide the shaft right in. We're going to replace the lock pin. Now you can see as it, the weight of it goes down, it pushes this uh, piece down and the cushion holds it up, which is a good cushion. Next we take our wire harness. There's two ends. This end goes to the battery, so we'll put that up. This end, there's only one way to do it. There's a connection right there. That connects, that'll connect our battery to our motor. This is our control box. We're going to put this up by the seat. Next, we just take our red goes to positive. Black goes to negative. This is a basic uh, battery we get out of, from uh, one of the big block stores. Uh, you can use any kind of battery that uh, you want to buy from a marine battery to a, a sealed lead acid battery. For our purposes, we're just using this light one. And you can see that now we have our control panel is up turns on and it turns off. Turns on and turns off. So it goes forward and that's it. And that's how you mount the skimmer on your kayak using the whale tail plate. For more information, go to www.watercrafttechnologies.com or to see it in action, go to www.motorizedkayakadventures.com.